Have you ever wondered how to pose in The Sims 4? Then keep on watching. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to see you. Today we're going to be talking about how to make your Sims pose in The Sims 4 essentially. But before we get into this video, just a quick reminder. If you like this type of content and if you find it useful, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit a notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video. And so back to our video, you guys. If you didn't know, besides those, you know, cast base game poses that you can obtain by clicking on different traits, there are some more poses that you can incorporate in your game. And you're right, those poses do require some mods and some CC to be installed in your mods folder. So essentially, there are two types of Sims 4 poses. There are cast poses that can be accessed by clicking on a specific trait that is associated with that specific pose or you can have Sims 4 poses that work in game or most of the times you can even find cast poses that are both available in cast and in game so that is absolutely great this is such a nice 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 cast pose pack so basically to make your Sims pose in the Sims 4 you will need two different mods so the very first one is this Andrew pose player I'm gonna make sure to insert the link in my description down below so you need to literally download this mod make sure that you install the latest version for it because as you probably know we have received quite a couple of updates and so make sure to update all of your mods and then you also need this teleport and a sim mod which i have already downloaded so to actually install these in your game you just need to use a file extractor program because this mod comes in a zip format so we're gonna go into our documents electronic cards the sims 4 and then mods we're gonna simply get this teleport and sim mod select these two files drag and drop them into our main mods folder and then we're gonna open the andrew post player mod we're gonna select these two files drag and drop them into our mods folder as you can see right here i already have both of them installed and so we are good to go one more thing that we actually need is to find our desired cast poses packs essentially so in case you didn't know i always 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 recommend taking a look at this website this is max's match cc world tumblr and you can find a wide variety of poses like in-game poses as well as cast poses so that is great look at this pose oh my goodness this is a modal pose isn't it so pretty and so feminine like i don't know i just like it so much when you go in here you can actually access this link which leads you to all sims 4 poses and you can basically download like cast poses that you can access by trait you can also find like single poses couple poses group poses if you want to immortalize a specific moment in your sims life that is going to include like multiple sims like if you want multiple sims to pose in a certain way you can obviously download a group pose pack or you can go for a single pose pack which will basically mean that only one sim will pose essentially you can also select the age gender and type because there are certain poses that are specifically conceived for like toddlers for newborn you can have you know so pretty screenshots of you holding your baby that is so so cute you can also go for different moods in terms of poses so you can have like an argument pose cooking pose crying pose falling pose like different circumstances circumstances which is so so cool and you can also have like, an accessory pose like bed pose bottle pose chair pose you can also go for pet poses cat poses but i'm pretty sure this requires you to own cats and dogs also one thing that you need to pay attention to whenever you're trying to download a specific pose pack is to look for the trait that is associated with that specific pose because for instance this specific cast pose mod is associated with a cast trait dog lover so if you don't own cats and dogs you won't be able to access this pose you will actually need to click on that trait in cast in order for your sim to pose that way so you can obviously still use the in-game pose but in regards to the cast pose please pay attention to the traits that that specific pack is tied to because if you only own base game you should really look for traits that are included in a base game like this active 
trade is included in the base game and so you can download it also one more thing that i wanted to mention is the fact that you shouldn't download multiple poses packs that are associated with the same trade because this can lead you to many game issues those two will probably conflict in the game so please 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 do not download more than one cast pose pack associated with the same trade because as you can see right here i made sure to sort the these cast poses packs by this trade which is the active trade and so if you basically put all these mods that are associated with this one trade it's pretty possible that your game will lead you to various issues because those will most probably conflict it's pretty obvious that if you have like more than one cast pose pack that is associated with the very same trade those specific cast poses will mess up your game essentially and so once you have installed those poses as well as these two mods, you are good to go. So we are gonna go into the new game. I have one cast pose that is associated with the clumsy trait. So we are basically going to click on our sim, click on the traits section and then look for the clumsy trait. So now if we click on it, you can see that our sim is starting to pose. Look at this. So once you get out of that trait section, your sim will stop posing. So you need to click on this, you need to have this trace a section open if that makes any sense and you can basically hold down the C key and you can take some screenshots of your sim. If your sim stops posing, you can always, always, always click on the very same trait once again so that your sim starts posing and you can again hold down the C key to basically take screenshots of your sim. And if you want to go for a more dramatic look or pose in cast, you can always, always, always replace your default sim or background with a very dramatic one or with whatever cast background you would like to. If you didn't know, I have some videos that talk about this very topic how to install cast backgrounds some of the best cast backgrounds so i have a couple of videos talking about cast backgrounds so make sure to check them out to actually find out how you can you know install a cast background and how to get rid of that very 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 annoying blue circle at the feet of your sims essentially but back into our game as i said before that pose was associated with the clumsy trait so basically as you can see right here the screenshots will look a lot more dramatic because we've added this cast background which is a golden bridge by the way i'm gonna make sure to insert the link for this cast background as well it is a cast background done by catverse and so yeah that's pretty great you can basically click on that specific trait and start taking screenshots of your sims so that is it for the cast part now on to the actual in-game sims for poses we are going to load an already existent game let's find my pretty sim because i really want to have like a pretty sim let's select this one this is our very sweet household so basically you need to click on your sim and this option should show up so you can click on pose by pack and all of your sims for poses packs should show up in this menu in this window so let's go for this magic one if you didn't know you can either like select individual poses or you can go for all in one which means that your sim is going to use all these poses like all in one it's pretty obvious so i pretty much go for all in one and once your sim finishes doing all these poses she will basically start doing those poses again and again and again until Till you stop her from posing which can be done by canceling it essentially let's just go for the same pose and select all in one and the way you want to go about this is to basically enter the tab mode you know adjust your camera by pressing the Q and E buttons to actually adjust the height and then by using your mouse you can basically move up down right left until your sim is in the frame like you can do certain angles if you would like to you can go however you would like to you can zoom in zoom out by using your scroll wheel on your mouse and you need to basically hit the c key to actually take screenshots of your sim once you exit that tab mode as you can see right here your pictures can be viewed in the screenshot manager which is found within the camera options in live mode so you can go to camera options screenshot capture manager and as you can see right here all of your screenshots should show up in here i've taken way 
way too many screenshots. Most of them do include a sim posing because the actual in-game poses aren't that great, you know, and so I oftentimes use this mod because it just makes your screenshots a lot more interesting. So you can see your screenshots in here or you can actually open up your documents, electronic cards, The Sims 4 and then the screenshots. If you scroll all the way down, you should see the most recent screenshots of your sim, which is so, so great. These screenshots are absolutely terrific. Even though like the background isn't the sweetest one, you can obviously get amazing photos by traveling with your sim in a different world or in different types of venues to make the screenshots look more intriguing and captivating. And if you like a pose, you can click on the pause button. Let's just say you really like this pose. Just click on the pause button, hit a tab key, adjust your height, and then basically zoom in or zoom out. Put your sim in the frame and, and then hit the C key to take the screenshot because if you don't click on the pause button, your sim will keep changing changing the pose and you probably won't have enough time to actually properly take the screenshot of your sim essentially. And if you didn't know, you really need to carefully read the description of the cast pose pack that you are downloading because certain cast poses will require you to actually go in build mode and basically put the sim teleporter destination onto your lap and then you should really click on teleport a sim here, select your sim and then, you know, just basically pose by pack because certain pose packs won't work if you don't place that statue on your lat and then you select the teleport your sim here option. Like, look at this one. Oh, it's so dramatic. It's such a life-changing mod and you should definitely, definitely get those two mods alongside some cast or in-game pose packs essentially. Hopefully you liked this little video and if you did, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz, hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a video because it truly Truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I will see you next time with a brand new exciting video. Have an awesome day just like you. Bye guys!